Frank, a fifth consecutive par four here at the U.S. Open. This is the 14th hole, and I'm guessing by the time you set foot on this tee, you'll know exactly where your game is at. Oh, this one here, great reward for someone that's driving the ball well. If you can drive it you know, down the left middle, avoid that little one-pot bunker in the middle of the fairway, you're going to certainly shorten this hole up. And uh, then you can start to use the contours of this hole too, that bend right to left. And 546 yards becomes much shorter than what you would think. All right, Frank, what's the play into the green here? Well, this uh, the green's got a little bit of a funnel effect. Uh, general contours slope right to left. And you know, towards this green, there is a little bit of a ridge and some mounding, um, short right. But uh, just use those in your favor. Uh, you know, the ball's going to do what Mother Nature wants it to do. You don't have to fight it. Should be safely on deck. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. We'll never know if that had gone in, because it never made it. Trying to grind out a par here. Needs it. Wow, that's disappointing. Chance to get too deep on one hole, and you leave it short. Well, the good thing is, he didn't miss it, right? It didn't go past and miss. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll never know. Okay. Still has a chance for birdie, too. Right, okay. I like that. It's a positive attitude. That hurts. Double bogey. Getting set now to tee off at the 15th here at the U.S. Open par three. And it stands out because it has the only tree on the golf course. It looks magnificent, doesn't it? Um, get your eyes back on the green, Rich. Come on. Um, when they use the short tee for the U.S. Open, just 167 yards. So uh, this is really a hole that the, the players are just going to eat up if they get the right wind conditions. Um, you know, just an eight or a nine iron from 160 yards for these boys. To a green, that, well, it should be well, very well received. That's a step in the right direction. Makes the putt and makes the move to three over. Now to the three-hole finishing stretch here at Chambers Bay, and we get it started with a relatively short par four. It's a 423-yard hole, the 16th, Frank. Being slightly to the right, um, there's a huge bunker all the way down the right side that sort of starts, I don't know, maybe about 100 yards off the tee, goes all the way to the green. You go right, and then you realize why this hole is called the beach. Interesting, with the almost space-age advancements in golf equipment, what with new, lighter materials, and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Pressure's beginning to rise here. 17th hole of the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay. And this one, Frank, the par three will require a really good shot. It's amazing how many U.S. Opens have uh, great 17th hole. I think of wing foot, par three, 17th, even Marion, par three. This one will certainly fit in the same vein. It's named derailed, and it will derail many a player trying to win a U.S. Open. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach, and now a really good look at birdie. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Moves into the top 25 with that birdie. So coming off a birdie on the last hole. It's 
a good spot right there. Sent a cup. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. In this shot, he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Settles in over the putt. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, I want to get some in the top ten. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now.